Gaddafi's long-running regime affected many lives across this country, including here in the Chicago area. ABC 7's Jessica D'Onofrio joins us live in the loop with some reaction. Jessica? Good morning, Linda. We spoke to many people in the Libyan community here in downtown Chicago and in the suburbs. Many of them say they feel a sense of relief because it's an end of a dictatorship. Tears of joy fill this Bridgeview home as family and friends watch Arab TV via satellite. Mohammed Adweeb's family got the news about Muammar Gaddafi's possible capture and death early this morning. He was overcome with happiness. It's a, it's a very joyful day. Uh, since 6 o'clock, uh, the phone was ringing continuously from the neighbors, from overseas, uh, uh, from Libya, uh, and everyone is uh, celebrating. The Libyan community in Chicago is exhilarated. Many had grown up under a repressive and brutal police state under Gaddafi. They believe the news sends a very important global message. This just shows that a dictator, any dictator in the world, has no power in this in this in this uh, in this time and age. Every uh, dictator should be in constant fear of its people, because at the end of the day, it's the people that rule the country, not the dictator. CARE Chicago is a chapter of America's largest Muslim civil liberties and advocacy organization. Its executive director says this is a great day. We're relieved uh, at the end of an era. Muslims don't rejoice at the death of an individual. However, we are rejoicing at the death of dictatorship and tyranny and the murderous period that uh, Qaddafi was going after his own people. The Council of Islamic Organizations of Greater Chicago says now that the war against Gaddafi's regime is over, Libya will face a new challenge. Now we have uh, a longer, much uh, uh, scary war that we are going to be entering, which is the war of educating, the war of building the country, the war of assuring that the new uh, uh, government, the new uh, uh, Libya, it's going to be a free Libya, it's going to be a democratic Libya. The Adweeb family tells me that they can now visit family in Libya freely, where before they went in fear. Live in the Loop, Jessica D'Onofrio, 